Hey guys, I'm Gigi Rivera. Welcome back to another episode of Contrast News. Today we have a very special guest. He's a DJ, he's a producer. He's probably behind some of your favorite songs. We have Dimelo Flow. ¿Cómo te está? How are you? ¿Cómo te sientes? Oh, bless. Gracias a Dios. ¿Cómo te está? ¿Todo bien? Yo estoy bien. Yo estoy bien. Qué bueno. Dimelo Flow, we have so much to talk about. Lo que tú quieras. <laughs> okay, let's start with how you got started with music. I mean, you've made a name for yourself, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't always like that, right? I mean, nah, not at all. It cost me a lot. <laughs> it cost you a lot. So 15 years. 15 years. So talk to me. How was the beginning of your career? I mean, I got into music after I fell in love with basketball. I was in love with basketball. I wanted to play in the NBA. Thank God I didn't continue because I was too short <laughs> for the NBA. But... Uh, after I got in a car accident, I got in a car accident um, probably like when I was 16. And after the car accident, I was always around my family and around everybody. I always loved music, my family. I was happy in the parties and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But after I got in a car accident, I fell in love with music. Mm. I fell in love with the passion of being a DJ, being a producer. So I started studying the situation, started studying around what's going on, and I started just just like every every kid at that age, you're you're playing with the softwares, you're trying to you do it because you love it. Yeah. But thank God, everything happened the way it happened. I mean, God always have a purpose for you, and I think this is mine. Did you ever expect to make a career out of it, though? After yeah, I was after, I chased yeah. I chased my dream, I chased my dream after I fell in love with it. So that's what you do. I was chasing my dream as a basketball player. I got in a car accident and I couldn't play no more. And then I started chasing my dream for the music. The music. That's awesome. How did you start connecting with artists? Because I read that you and Keyless met somewhere, and then from there, like magic just kind of started. The, the situation happened on a club in Tampa because I was mm -hmm. I used to DJ in Tampa. I used to DJ in Orlando, and. I was at a club DJing one night, and artists used to come all the time to the club. The promoters used to bring artists, and I was in the DJ of, of, of the club. And Justin comes one night, they put him, there's no tables left on the VIP, <laughs> and they put Justin in a, on a DJ stage. So they put Justin in the DJ stage, and he was hanging out. And then after the night, he stood so long, he was partying all night. <laughs> and he stood so long, he was like, yo. You work with anybody? Do, do, you, do you travel? Do you work with anybody? I was like, nah. No, I don't. He's like, you want to be my DJ? I was like, okay. <laughs> of course. <laughs> so after that, I think that's when it started everything. Right. And now you've worked with so many artists. Why do you think artists trust you? I mean, as far as the, your personality, uh, and you got to keep it real with them. I'm, I'm a person that I'm the type of person that... Yo, if I don't like the record, I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. So a lot of, I, I think that's a lot of the influence that I got. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Sugarcoat. Right. I was going to curse, but my bad. <laughs> I saved him, guys. I saved him. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't sugarcoat anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm very upfront. Yo, I don't like this. I think this should be like that. And I had a success with the records and everything that I've done. Mm -hmm. So I think they trust me. Because of that. Because if, if you don't get a hit, ain't nobody going to trust you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I think that's, the, that's why, that's my personality on the artist. Yeah. And I keep it real with them. I love that. So you released Winnie Pooh recently with Rake, Boza, and Jay Wheeler. How did that collaboration come about? I mean, when we was in the studio, we were in the camp. Me, the, the, the producers, and we were writing, oh, it's like an idea like this. We didn't think about that. We didn't think about rake. We didn't think about <laughs> bosa. We we just making music for the love of it. So it came up like that. After we 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 hear the record that we made, he was like, "Look, what about rake?" And then it's like, "Yo, okay, rake." We call Jorge, and we and then um, Jesus came. We recorded. The, they sent back the record. We loved it. I was like, "Bro, but I need somebody to give her more spice to it. You know, give her. It already has the love. It has the feeling of the record. So it's like, yo, let's get." Bosa on it. We called Bosa. Bosa came to the studio and we recorded that. And, and I think I, after that, I was like, yo, let's give it something else. I like to put people together that you won't imagine. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we put Bosa, we put Jay Wheeler, and we did also with Rake. And I think that collaboration is a lot. Girls love that record. I know, we do. <laughs> Have you ever pitched a song or like a beat and an artist declined it? Like, nah, I don't like that. 
Yeah, I have. Yeah. I have. I have pitched the song. I pitched the beat, and and and, and the declining for me it makes me work harder. Mm. Because I send in the next one, they fall in love for it. Matter of fact, if it happened like that with CX Conel, CX Conel happened like that with Alcan, and I send them on a record for it's like yo, I don't like this one, then I send a CX Conel, and then that's why it became like yo, CX Conel, that's my side. <laughs> Okay, so now you announced that in June you're releasing Crazy. Now, when I heard that, I'm like, okay, is it a girl that's crazy? Is it El Tengo Un Party that's crazy? So what can you tell us about this track? Whoa, Crazy crazy for me was, wow, Crazy was created with Wixing. He came to the, I was working on my album like a year ago, and Wixing was the first, one of the first that came to the studio. We recorded it here. He's like, yo, I got this idea. Wixing came with the whole idea of the record. So I recorded Wisin first, and then when I was doing uh, Si Te Vas with Sechen Osuna, I was like, yo, Osu, let's jump on this track. What do you think about it? He recorded that. Then it became, I was like, Arcangel. We put a lot of people on that one. Uh, Jay Wheeler, Lenny's Lenny. on it. Mm -hmm. And I think we gave it a spice, like 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 the Academy. Like we met, when I made the Academy with the guys, I think I gave it that feel on Crazy. It's a party record. I mean, it's a party record. It's a reggaeton, reggaeton, reggaeton. Así que yo creo que it's going to be, it, people are going to love it. That's perfect for the summer. It's a summer record. Hay que It's a summer record <laughs> para que perren bien duro. Um, so you have so many hits, like you just mentioned, Sigues con él, Se le ve, Tu pollo. Is there a song that you can think of that was maybe the most challenging to create? The most challenging to create, wow. I, let me think, I got to think. Create it. For me, remix with Daleks. Oof. It was a challenge for me because we were in, we had to turn on the record. We recorded Faye last minute. We recorded Lenny last minute in Colombia. We were at camp actually. And Lenny came for the first time. You I love that song. He recorded that. Then Faye came after. And I had to put all that together like in a day so we can come out. And that's why we came out with no video and the song became a hit. We didn't, obviously, we didn't know it was going to be like that. Then we had to shoot a video. So everything was like rush when it came to Pami Remix. But it, thank God it became a hit. It's so crazy to think that you're behind like so many dope songs. <laughs> it's thank insane. Um, so how do you make sure that you stay original and that you, you know, each song is better than the last? Is there a special formula you have? My special formula, I always keep myself as a DJ at the club. Because I can hear what people like. I can hear where you're dancing to. I can hear what you're feeling. I can hear what you're singing from your heart at the club. Maybe you're going through a situation that you want to just have a party tonight. Or maybe you're going through a breakup and you're singing different songs. So I see what works when you're at the club. Oh, there you guys have it. A good tip by Dimelo Flo. <laughs> so the album, Always Dream. You mentioned that word a lot. What does dreaming mean to you? Dreaming means everything that you see around yourself. Dreaming means that you're sitting here and we're doing an interview. Mm. Dreaming means that you dream of something and you work for it so hard that the dream becomes true. So I think everybody in, in, in their lives have, have a dream mm -hmm. for anything. You want to be a soccer player. You got a dream. You dream for it because you want to be the best soccer player. Right. So when you dream, you become the best to play with the best. I love that. So what can we expect with this album? And um, what, was the al what does the album mean to you? you? We just said it. The album means to me a dream that I seen in the beginning of my career before I even thought about being sitting here with you or, or having this project that I'm going to come out with in June. Um, my flow la discoteca i grew up to these records and to these albums from producers mm. so we used to wait as everybody as my friends and kids we used to wait till the albums come out because every artist was on it yeah. so i think i wanted to bring that back into el reggaeton me entiendes no hay productores haciendo eso yo creo que sería el primer disco de si no me equivoco de lo que ha salido hace tiempo so I'm very proud of, of the project that, that I created where every, everybody's help. Everybody. Dang, so that means we're going to have a lot of nostalgia. You got, 20, no, you got 28 records, 27 songs. Oof, 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 oof. Bueno, estamos ready. I think this is the first time I gave the track list out. So. Ooh, exclusive with Contrast. Okay, come through, Dimelo Flow. And I also heard que hay un documentario. There's a documentary. 
uh, it's a documentary on everything that happened between my life, how wow. I grew up, how the accident happened, how when I fell in love with music, where I'm from. So you're gonna know more the inside of the Melo Flow instead of just the music. Yeah, you're gonna awesome. fall in love with me now and the music and the music. Okay, so it's just gonna be the Melo Flow all over. <laughs> um, what made you want to give us an inside look into your life and get to know you a little more personal? Because I feel like you guys know, and and the and the people I always know was out. They don't they don't they don't see what what you went through, and how you went through, and how you get here. They always ask you how you got here. Well, I'm gonna show them how I got here on the documentary. Wow, definitely expect a whole new fan base because we nosy. We are very nosy, so exactly. we don't be, we don't be all up in your business. <laughs> That's fine though. Bueno, dímelo. Um, the last question: contrast. The definition of contrast is to be strikingly different. So, what makes you strikingly different? My personality makes me different. I'm a very outgoing person, and yeah, very we, we saw we we saw behind the scenes. <laughs> very honest, very honest with my job, very honest with my work, and and when the vibe is there, I think that was makes me different. And my vibe is different when when I work with the artists, when I deal with the people, when I deal with everything. I'm always in a good mood. When I'm mad, it's because it. something really bad happened. <laughs> Oof, I know. I feel like the the cool, calm people when they get mad, that's when they're like, Ugh. it's part of life, though. Absolutely. Well, Dimelo Flo, it's been a pleasure to chat with you. Like I said, Thank you. you've been behind some of my favorite songs, people's favorite songs. So um, it's so dope to get to know you a little better. Thank you very much. The album Always Dream. Coming soon. Make sure y'all cop that. You need to. <laughs> Thank you so much. And everybody much. Can accomplish their dream. That's what I got to say. So just like I did mine. And I love that you always advocate for accomplishing your dreams because a lot of times we can give up, but if you can make it, we all can make it. We all can make it. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you guys so much. This has been another episode of Contrast News, The Mellow Flow. I am Gigi Rivera, and we will see you on the next episode. Let's go. Bye.